Hey fellow Google admins, this is Goldie again. Welcome back to Google Cloud Identity Course. In this video, I'll talk to you about whether Google Cloud Identity is required or not in case if you plan to use Google products and services for your business. I've seen this question coming up every few days, so I thought let's make a video on that and make it part of our Google Cloud Identity course. So let me share my slides, which will help you understand when Google Cloud Identity is must versus optional. So here are my slides and let's talk about this. Is Google Cloud Identity required? But before that, just a quick piece of information. There are two ways to create Google accounts to use Google offerings. For example, one is the consumer account, which you know, you might have Gmail account in your personal life. You can also create that same Google consumer account with your own domain, such as, you know, user at goldyaurora.com. But that is only recommended in case if you would be using it for personal uh, life or personal stuff. In case if you plan to use Google offerings for your business, regardless of the size of your business, you should always, always go with Google work account. And by the way, I have some uh, other videos which which talk about you know what are the differences between consumer and work accounts and how can you convert your consumer account to a work account so i'll put those in the description but just in case if it helps a bit with that my assumption is that you want to use google offerings for your business so for that you should have google cloud identity in place where these two conditions are met number one you would be using google offerings for your business and number two, today you do not use Google Workspace. If these two conditions are met, then you should absolutely sign up for Google Cloud Identity. A couple of examples would be that you do not use Google Workspace. To, maybe you're using Office 365 or some other offering for your message and collaboration, but you want to use other services from Google, like Google Cloud Platform. Google Analytics, Google Ads, etc. If that's the case, you must sign up for Google Cloud Identity to create those work accounts for your users so that you have more control uh, on which applications are these users accessing and in which context and what kind of authorization should they have when they log into these applications. Okay, now let's talk about the second scenario where cloud identity is optional. If these two conditions met, then cloud identity is optional. Number one, again, you plan to use Google offerings for your business. Second, you already have Google Workspace set up or you're already using Google Workspace, you know, for your messaging and collaboration. If, if that's the case, you do not need cloud identity. It is optional. And if your question now is, why is it even optional? Then great job. We are on the same page. And for that, let me bring you to my next slide where you will see that there are a few use cases where Google Cloud Identity and Google Workspace can both work together. One of the use cases would be employees versus contractors or maybe a subset of your employees. For example, let's say I have some employees who would be using uh, email and collaboration on behalf of my organization and it's okay to give them Google Workspace license. But some of my contractors or temporary employees they do not need access to email and collaboration services. They only need to access, you know, Google Cloud Platform or Google Ads or Google Analytics. It's not sensible to invest uh, purchasing a Google Workspace license for these users. And I should rather go with Google Cloud Identity License, which means I will be paying much less because I'm not using Google Workspace for these users. And by the way, we'll talk about the Google Cloud Identity pricing in a different video, so I'll put that in the description below too. So one of uh, the use cases is this one where you need to grant your users different uh, Google services based on their use case. And the second use case that I see is when you're, when you're doing administration for Google Workspace or Google Cloud Identity, it is recommended that you should have separation of duties, like you should have two separate accounts. So if I'm a user and I'm also Google Workspace admin, I should not have just one account and I should have user license and administration access with that account. Ideally, I should have two separate accounts. For example, one can be goldie.aurora.domain.com, which is just a Workspace user, and then a separate account, which is goldie.aurora.admin, 
at example.com where I will have the administration rights so that, you know, by mistake, I should not be performing any administration tasks from my workspace user account. I have a separate video where I'll talk about in a Google Workspace uh, admin best practices. I'll put that in the description below too. So these might be a few use cases where you can have Google Workspace license and Google Cloud Identity license working together. So I hope now you understand when Google Cloud Identity is must and when it is optional so that you can have Workspace and Cloud Identity working together. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you may consider putting that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.